It's now my great pleasure to introduce uh, one of the participants from my workshop today. You know, that that happens in the Saturday night thing. There'll be, I guess there'll be three participants speaking tonight. One from my workshop. Um, uh, her name is Lynn Wyville, and um, she's gonna be coming up in a moment. Let me just tell you a couple things about the workshop so you understand what she's reading. Um, it's called, it was called Writing as Reenaction. Um, basically, I was talking about a, a set of techniques that lie at the very heart of poetry and literary fic uh, fiction, techniques that allow a writer acoustically to reenact or re-embody the thing that's being described rather than simply reporting it. So the easiest, uh, the simplest example, uh, here's a good example from uh, Robert Fagel's wonderful translation of Virgil's Aeneid. He's describing horses running over the plain instead of saying a bunch of horses galloped across the plain, and boy, they looked nice, and the sound was wonderful. He says, um, hoofbeats, uh, galloping hoofbeats drum the rutted plain like thunder. It's galloping hoofbeats drum the rutted plain like thunder. So you can actually hear the horses crossing the plain. Uh, so Lynn, can you come up now? He gave us 20 minutes um, to work on this. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> it's still a work in progress. He described a man running up a circular stairway um, to meet a beloved at the top, either with good news or with bad news. And uh, I chose to work with that one. Heavy air buffeted his reluctant ascent, spiraling, circling, mocking practiced phrases. Adieu, adieu. Goodbye. Oppressed, opaque moments spread as time stalled, as moments unarrived. Thank you. <laughs> 